Do you think Boris is an imbecile? No. No. You don't get to where Boris has got to without being extremely clever and uh, also quite manipulative and uh, political uh, and what have you. So no, Boris is a very, very clever guy, but he may well have outlived his usefulness to the Conservative Party. I actually, and I please do not think Scotty McLean is responsible for putting Boris into power, but it must be 25 years ago I remember attending a very, very senior meeting. And somebody said, Scotty, you're a man of the world. Who do you think should be the next Conservative leader? And they were really struggling a bit. It was a touch bottom of the barrel at the time, I think. But I said, well, this is a long shot and he's a bit of an outsider. This is 25 years ago, remember. I said, but you could maybe have a look at Boris. And this very senior person's face lit up the went. Ah, Boris, yes. Now that actually had crossed my mind. So don't be blaming me for Boris being in power, though. I'm just telling you. East Coast Lawn, West Coast Square Sausage. Uh, Claudia, is it not Slice? Square Slice. Uh, I am still has sent me a cricket, bat and ball. The man has got a general strike needed to get rid of the cunt Westminster crooks. Well, play for questions. We haven't had a general strike since 1926. So we're, what's that? 96 years. 96 years. So we're coming up to the 100th anniversary. It may come to that. Interesting. But I don't think that they'll get the backing that they got in the general strike. I nominate Scotty for Parliament. Good for us, fam. Guys, would you like to see McClure representing you? As a member of parliament, a Mike Papa. There we are, have it. Uh, now then, who have we got here? Power to the people. Well, Greenleaf, yes, it's all very well saying power to the people. But the people also need to cash in on their education. You see? You can't give power to dafties. They were giving power to the people. You see, they said power was given to the people for the referendum for coming out of Europe. And the people failed us. I think that was more a bit of a setup, being able to blame the people for the outcome. Well, we only did it because it was the voice of the people. But the Leave campaign were very heavily loaded with money. See, the trick would be getting the small people and you will prosper. Well, John Skiff, this has been Scotty McClure's mantra. This is why I have prospered over the last 30 years. Because I have always made it the people's program. And there is a company at the moment, I shan't be so base as to name them, and they are really struggling. It's a new business and it's a talk business and they are really struggling. Uh, you know, and I know why they are struggling, uh, but I, whether they would listen to me with only, you know, 40 years experience of major broadcasting and have made uh, media moguls probably the better part of 200 million pounds. Huh? Oh, yes. There were, I mean, I turned one business. You can see this on TikTok. If you look through the TikTok videos, we turned a half million pound project into a 26 million pound business. Very successful. Uh, you have me, Scotty. We do, John Dinky. Do bless you. Riley's just 